was really sunny. It was a gorgeous spring day, so I thought it would be perfect for planting some seeds in my garden. So today I'm going to plant some runner beans and some lettuce. Now some of you may have collected seeds from school um, and have them at home ready to plant. If you don't, you can always find seeds and fruits and vegetables you can eat at home. I'm going to try and plant a plum seed today from the plum I had for my breakfast. Let's see what happens with that. Are you ready? Well, first of all I'm going to plant a bean. Now you can plant beans in anything. I'm going to try and plant one in an old tin can. Let's see what happens. Fill it up with compost. deep as my finger and I'm going to put a bean in there. Here's the bean. Is it a magic bean? Is it going to make an enormous tall beanstalk like in the story of Jack? And top it with a little bit more compost. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to plant some in. Oh this is a milk carton I cut off. You could use that to plant the seeds in as well. So you can fill it up. Compost. in the bottom these are proper plant pots so if you're using those you must remember to put them on a tray otherwise when you water them all the water will go everywhere so I'm going to fill these up one two three oh, I wonder if I've got enough seeds let's have a look I've got three seeds left in my pocket let's have a look oh yes just enough a hole and put the seed in, cover it over with the soil. Another one, two, put the seed in, cover it over with some soil. Make a hole, put the seed in, cover it with some soil. Should we try and plant this plum, this plum stone? It's when I had a plum for my breakfast this morning. I'm going to plant it in this mug that somebody gave me with a funny picture of me on the front. I don't really use it, so I thought I would use it to plant a seed in. Let's see what happens. Fill it up with compost. Now you don't have to have a garden to do this. You can do this in your house and you can put these on the windowsill to grow. They need lots of sunshine. There we are. Let's see what happens with that one. Will it grow? I'm not sure. Okay, so I've got six pots there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, what do plants need? What do seeds need to help them grow? They need water. Now, I've made my own watering can today out of a milk bottle. I made holes in the top for the water to come out. And I filled it up with water. And it works like a perfect little watering can. Now, remember, plants like a drink. They don't want to go for a swim. So just give them a little bit and water them every day big and strong. Plants get very, very thirsty and need water to help them grow. That might be enough. Now, should we do the lettuce seeds? Now, these are really, really different seeds. These seeds are tiny. Shall I show you how small they are? <gasps> Look how small they are. Tiny little seeds. I've got a big pot here, but you can grow seeds in whatever you like, just like I did with my beans. I'm going to sprinkle these over the top of the soil, all over. Because these ones don't need to go very deep. These ones are a bit different to the beans. And then I'm going to put some of this on the top. need to be very deep in the ground. Read the instructions on your seed packet so you know what your seeds need. All seeds are different. And if you've got a 
seed from a fruit or a vegetable, you can always look it up online to find out how deep to plant the seed and what kind of conditions they need. Your mummy and daddy can help you with that. Might be adults at home. Okay, so now I'm gonna water these with my homemade watering can. Sprinkle it all over. Get very thirsty. Remember, I like a drink, not a swim. Shake it. Oh, all the water's coming out. If you put too much water in, all the seeds will swim away. So we don't want to put too much in. I think that's enough. Okay, so I'm going to put these indoors because they need to grow indoors on a, in a sunny place. On a windowsill, I'm going to put them on my kitchen table. And these ones are going to stay outside in my garden. Remember, I've got to water them every day. So if you plant seeds, remember to water them every day. And I'd love to see photos of what you take. Oh, one thing I've forgotten, so we remember what we've planted, we need to make a little label. You can make this out of whatever you like. You could write on your container, you could get a sticky label, you could make a um, get a stick and put a piece of paper on it, sellotape some paper on it to make a label. I'm going to use these help me remember what I've planted and I'm going to write beans because I've planted runner beans. Runner beans, that was in that one. And this one was a plum, do you remember? The seed from my plum I had for my breakfast this morning. Plum. Now I'm going to do all the rest of these labels. Let me know if you do any gardening, I'd love to hear from you. Take care. Bye.